Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning from Los Angeles, California. I hope that you are enjoying a beautiful day wherever you are around the globe. So on this podcast, we teach universal law, we teach spiritual truth, uh, we teach basically that all of life is an, is energy and that uh, the backing of it is spirit, you, your true identity. And so each day we come together in a little inspirational talk with some distinctions and takeaways, hacks, tips, secrets, all the above, so that you can live a life, a powerful life, an empowered life, a life that you love, that's in alignment with your specific truth. We teach that each and every one of us has the individual use of the one mind and universal law, and you get to express yourself as a divine individual. So our greatest saying is, may you live your truth. So today on that note, today's title of the talk is five things you must give up. And when I say you must give up, you don't have to give them up. But if you want to live a powerful life, and you want to uh, use energy for good and align with universal law, then you might want to try giving them up. I don't know, just a thought don't have to, but you can. So today, let's go through it. You can get out a pen and paper. Or you can just begin to relax, have your coffee, uh, chill out your tea, do whatever. Okay, so Number one thing, you guys, is you got to give up complaining. Okay, so, I mean, this is obviously probably not of a shock. Like if you want to inform energy, you want to inform your subconscious mind, uh, you got to give up complaining and you've got to begin to focus on what you do want instead of what you don't want. Because what we give energy to expands and what we don't diminishes. It's very, very simple. You know, it's a it's a counterintuitive thing. It's oftentimes when people are having a hard day, they they just get down and it actually compounds in their life. And so it's a real tricky thing and a challenge. That's why we have um, prayer partners. That's why we have to do whatever it takes to get into right mind. That's why we have support groups. That's why we have community. That's why we have our daily spiritual practice is to get out of that complaining mindset and go into things like gratitude, things like, you know, just getting into visioning, doing things that help you get right back on track. So number one thing is to give up complaining, okay? Number two is to give up blaming. And this is very important because you're such a powerful spiritual being that the moment that you actually assign Uh, something that's happened in your life to someone other than yourself, you instantly create yourself to be powerless. And someone's like, well, I didn't, you know, do that. Then, you know, that person raped the other person that how can you not blame that person? It's not about not having other people accountable and knowing, you know, if you, how deep you want to go, right? The truth is that we're all one, that whatever's happening in our culture is really the outpicture of what's happening at a collective level. But even that, okay, let's just say someone's been raped or someone has been sexually assaulted or something like that. It's not that we don't say, oh, that must be my fault. I look slutty. Therefore, it happened to me. No, it's just we have people, we hold them accountable but we don't blame them in that right now in this present moment, we have to take 100% responsibility of realizing that at some core level, we've called this in to actually be a voice for the movement. We've called it in for us to basically step into our power to hold somebody accountable to do whatever it is. But if you don't take 100% responsibility for your life, for your happiness, for your wellness, for your everything, then you are basically assigning something outside of yourself. So I'm not saying you take on the responsibility if you were raped, but I'm saying that you take on 100% responsibility to do what it takes right now to live a great life, to live and heal and do whatever it is to get in right mind, okay? Number three is you got to give up excuses, you got to give up excuses, okay? Um, Again, assigning power to a thing, a circumstance, or an event instantaneously creates you as powerless. That's how the universal law works. That's how powerful you are. So if you have excuses of why you can't do things, why you can't fulfill your dreams, why you can't have love, why you can't eat well, why blah, 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 right? These are excuses. These are basically you giving power to traffic, to giving uh, uh, 
power over to your boss, to giving power over to the weather, to giving power over to the economy, to whatever that is, and making yourself, you're basically saying to yourself at a subconscious level and informing universal law that you are not as powerful as that. And instantaneously, you experience yourself not being as powerful as that. So be careful how you use your words and what you believe, okay? Number four, you got to give up self-doubt. And this is one of the most advanced things and this can take lifetimes, right? So giving up self-doubt, we all want confidence. We all want to believe in ourselves. But if you want to truly live a powerful life, have a life that you love, be almighty that you are, you've got to give up self-doubt. And you inform your subconscious and universal law by your beliefs. So you're such a powerful spiritual being that the moment you consider yourself not being almighty and powerful is the moment you experience yourself as that. So if you don't believe, if you, how do you expect anyone else to believe in you? How do you expect for any of your dreams to come about if you can't believe in yourself? If you can't be your own best friend, then, then forget all these aspirations of these dreams. Why don't you try just being your own best friend for the day and not doubting yourself today? Not doubting and loving yourself fully exactly as you are. So if we want to change, we have to first not resist what is there. So that all comes down to the self-doubt, okay? So number five, five things you got to give up. Number five is attachment. You can't have attachment to the outcome or attachment to how things manifest in your life. We call this outlining in the New Thought Movement. We call this outlining. So if you try and control every little thing that happens and attachment to how relationships can go, how, um, how your dreams are going to show up, how the right circumstance is going to show up. You're never going to allow for the universe to deliver things uh, even better. They may be, the universe might want to deliver you something even better than you ever imagined. They want, it may want to deliver the perfect partner that's even completely different than how you imagined, but, but you know, a hundredfold better for you. So I think it's important to know that attachment, you know, the reality is this, is that all of life is designed, like life delivers us exactly what we need for our awakening to the greatest version of ourselves. It doesn't always deliver what we want, because if we still have limiting beliefs, it has to deliver what we need, which is to awaken. So we can want, say, like the best partner and have attachment to having this perfect partner, but if we have the belief, limiting beliefs about ourselves, and we haven't stepped fully into embodying that which we seek, it will always deliver what we need, what we need to grow. So we can't have attachment to the outcome, because we have to have attachment really to stepping into the highest good of ourselves and the highest good for the all. So again, let's just recap these, okay? So I'm sure there's many more things than five things you got to give up. But these are some good things, some good things, some five things today you can give up. Um, practice today giving up, okay? So number one thing is complaining. Stop complaining. Oh my gosh, if you want to do one thing that will give you the biggest bang for your buck, give up complaining. Don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. That in itself will revolutionize every aspect of your life, okay? Number two is stop blaming. Stop blaming and take 100% responsibility. Number three is self-doubt. Man, if you don't love yourself, forget about it. You got to believe in yourself. And uh, oh, do we miss number three? I'm so sorry. Number three is give up excuses. You can't, you're assigning power outside of yourself by, get, by having excuses. Basically, you're saying, X, Y, and Z, this circumstance, the economy, all that stuff is more powerful than me. So again, number four is self-doubt. Got to give up self-doubt. Got to begin to believe in thyself. And number five is giving up attachment. Allow for something to come in even greater. Every prayer we say, we say that or something greater. And so it is. Okay. So you guys, today, we uh, each day we talk about a universal law. There's only one law. It's the law of cause and effect. It's the law of creation. But each day we talk about a distinction. So today um, is the law of polarity because this law of polarity is set in motion by spirit, your higher self, your true self, contemplating its own identity. So the moment you consider something to be, it sets universal law into motion. Beliefs within the soul activate and direct energy. 
also intention, attention, intention, and selection set the mechanics into motion. So it's so important that even when you consider complaining, you consider blaming, you consider self-doubt, you consider all these things, you set everything in motion, okay? So today's daily spiritual practice is living in faith, knowing that anything that you truly desire and that you totally will embody with total certainty and extraordinary action is your destiny. And then today's challenge, because life is a game. We're, we're in this incredible advanced game. Don't make anyone wrong or judge anyone who isn't is still doing these five things, okay? So don't, just because you're embodying your daily spiritual practice, the biggest pitfall of spirituality is to become almighty, like, sorry, better than because you have a daily spiritual practice, because you're doing these things. You can't make somebody else be ready to step into truth, to step into their power, okay? So on that note, you guys, if you've enjoyed this talk, please like, share, comment. Please give me a great review on iTunes or iHeartRadio or something. Check me out connect on social media. It's all under Dr. Aaron or DrAaron.tv. And you can find me at AaronFallHaskell.com. And I just know this, you guys. Have a kick-ass day and uh, may you live your truth.